speaking test. It's also like an interview. Right. Fantastic. So, first, can you please tell me your name and some of your hobbies? Uh, my name is Minam. I like to play basketball, swim, uh, play games, watch TV. Fantastic. Awesome. So, tell me, uh, what do you see in the picture? I see some viruses. Mm, what do you know about viruses? Uh, they are incredibly small, smaller than even cells and bacteria. They are dangerous and sometimes deadly. Fantastic, very good. Um, can a virus be seen with the naked eye? Uh, no. Uh, uh, can you please explain? Because it's too small, a normal eye can't see them. You need a special type of microscope to see them. Very good, thank you. Uh, what do they cause? They cause a lot of symptoms like sneezing, coughing, mild fevers, nausea, and a lot more. Awesome, and mm, we go to the next slide. The influenza virus, uh, what can you tell me about them? Uh, the influenza virus causes the flu. Very good. And what are some of the symptoms of the flu? Uh, coughing, coughing, sneezing, and laughing. Very good. And sometimes, yeah, you even get like a high temperature. How do these viruses get into our body? They get into the body by going into the nose, the mouth, and sometimes the eye. Very good. And the next one, uh, how can we protect ourselves from these viruses? Uh, we should wash our hands and exercise daily. Uh, wear a mask, eat healthy foods or uh, vegetables and fruits, and we cover our mouth or nose when we cough or sneeze. Very good. We go to the next one. Um, how does the immune system protect the body? So we go to the next one. How does the immune system protect the body from viruses? So the immune system consists of many parts, like our skin, uh, nose hair, mucus our stomach, and white blood cells. Uh, our skin is like our armor. It is made of dead cells, so viruses can't infect live ones. Very good. Well, uh, so that'll lead us to the next section. Um, what does mucus do? Mucus is like a slime. It traps viruses in, it, uh, in our nose. Very good. Next, what does your stomach do? Uh, our stomach is filled with acid that can burn the virus. Very good. And uh, what do white blood cells do? Uh, white blood cells can fight the virus or the infected cell. Very good. Well then, can you name the different parts of the respiratory system? The respiratory system includes the nose, the, the mouth, the, the throat, the trachea, uh, the lung, and the diaphragm. Very good. And you can even go so far as to say like the root cage as part of like the part that protects it, but not as much. But yeah. If we go to the next section, can you name the different parts of the circulatory system? Uh, the heart, the capillary, the artery, and the vein. Very good. And balloons. Cool. How do they work together? Uh, when you breathe in, oxygen gets into your lungs and in your heart, then into your blood. Your arteries carry this blood all over your body, into your head, your arms, and your legs. Very good. And then the veins carry the uh, blood that doesn't have oxygen back to the <coughs> back to the heart, and then into the lung, into the lungs to collect the carbon dioxide in it. And then when you breathe out, that that blood goes out. Very good. Well, that that. Uh that gets recirculated. Very good. In your opinion, do you do enough exercise? Uh, I think I should exercise more because I'm not that skinny right now. That's okay. Neither am I. Uh, tell me, um, do you think you should exercise more? Uh, yeah, maybe. Sure. Uh, how do you think people can live happier and healthier lives? Well, they should. Uh, be healthy, like eat like, uh, healthy foods, as you said, don't smoke, mm. uh, and be open-minded and be polite. Very good. All right. Thank you very much. We're all done. All right. Very good. Okay. Can you go back to us?